Hey, hello everyone. Want to create a framework using GitHub Copilot? If you are using a test automation framework using Playwright, it is very easy to create a framework using GitHub Copilot. Believe me, at the end of this video, you will find this possible. And this is very easy. Follow me. Normally, a test framework means it should include proper folder structure, it should implement page object model, it should get test data from external source, and there should be utility functions or reusable methods for repetitive tasks. A proper configuration and environment setup should be there to support multiple environments, and it should have a good logging and reporting mechanism. Finally, a CACD support should be there for GitHub, Azure DevOps, or for Jenkins, right? Here, most of the framework features are handled by Playwright itself, like cross browser testing, parallel execution, etc. But when we do this kind of automation testing for a large project, we need to have a proper skeleton, right? A proper folder structure, a proper price object model should be there, right? So for that, even though we are a beginner, we can create that using GitHub Copilot. Okay, follow me and believe me, this is gonna be a very useful video to create a framework right? right now now i will start from scratch so what i did is i have created a pwa.test that is an empty folder to explain i have this two files framework.js and framework.md so this md is a markdown file so this is where i have given all the instructions for github copilot okay let's see that file first now what this file has is this is an md file as i said already what instructions i gave is you are a test automation expert in playwright okay i'm gonna do playwright plus javascript so i have given it like this is a playwright plus javascript module es modules only okay then create the features one by one make sure all the features are completed so what i did is core components to include make sure to do the folder structure in this way it should have pages test utils switches reports and follow the page object model then use the test data management using json or csv okay and it should have like custom commands and utilities this is reusable part and it should have a configuration and environment setup so we have playwright.config.ts and along with that let's do something with env and for configuration do with uh, html reports allure if it is failing use screenshots video and uh, for cacd integration create a yaml file and create how it, it should have some these are some extra features like hooks and features and uh, cross browser testing and all okay and bonus add-on is like if you want uh, we can add uh, this api integration and uh, performance testing and all okay so this is what i have given in the framework.md this is a prompt file it this is like I will give this as an input to GitHub Copilot. Okay. Now let's deep dive in. I will start from scratch. Please follow it carefully. Okay. Now this is a, as this is a new project, I want to install Playwright first. So what I'm going to do is go to your terminal, no, view command palette and then type install Playwright. Okay. So when you do that, what will come is Firefox and WebKit. We don't need that browsers for now use chromium and use javascript okay and then click okay so in order to get this you know that right use my i mean watch my previous videos playwright for vs code that plugin needs to be installed then you will get this option click okay it will install playwright in this folder okay i have this folder pw.test so in this folder i will get to playwright get installed you can see right npm install save dev so all these commands it will happen and playwright will be installed okay it is downloading the process fine okay happy hacking so now the playwright is installed as you can see right i don't need this test example file and all and editing it and in the test file also what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete this test okay and in this test let me delete this and let me record something a simple uh, playwright test okay so to record that what i'm gonna do is I'm going to the testing tab then click on record a cursor okay it will open the browser so in my browser i'm navigating to 
https colon double slash playrate.dev right and then click on get started so after that click on the search bar then search for javascript right to click on this javascript and typescript and then search again then search for vom and select this option so this is my simple test okay i just recorded it and i am closing the browser so whatever i did right i have this linear script available okay so get started search click first try did i try for java it's not required okay so it search for javascript i click this okay now it's cool so this is my sample uh, test script okay now let me start with the framework what we're gonna do is let's close all the files let's open github copilot chat i'm opening the chat right here for the context add the context context is our framework.md file okay and write the commands like i'm using the cloud sonnet model okay and uh, it is in agent mode now create playwright test automation framework right based on given instructions so this is what i am giving to the github copilot okay i have written all the instructions in the md file already now let's see this in action what's happening right it's gonna help me so first, it, first it's creating the required directories all the directories are created okay then it's looking at the page object model okay remember i have one sample file so it created the page object model okay it created two js files home page and search page then now it's creating the utility files so i asked for some helper files uh, for data generation and all so it's creating that for date generation and all now it's creating the test data file so it's created test data.json right awesome right till now continue so it's updating the configuration so we have playwright.config.js file it's trying to update that okay it's already there it's trying to update it and then it's creating a sample test file okay we have it but i think it's creating it again search.spec.js right now it's updating the package package.json remember we need to install dot env and all so it has created it okay it has given me i have did all these things and perform npm install and then do npm test it will happen it okay now let me keep this and let me review what is available okay so it's created a fixtures and their test data.json is available so as i asked it is creating the search keywords and urls dev staging prod this is super awesome and uh, right let me give the url as so what i used is https colon double slash playwright right this is our url fine uh, so whatever we can modify we can modify it okay then it has created the home page so here you see this is a home page class is created in that these are all the page locators and there are page methods very beautiful then there is a search page this is also in the same way that's fine then it has created some reports folder then it has created this search dot vector js test for me search functionality that's it that's what i tried right so it did with the hooks and then there is a test and test it has done with expect also you see it has used the test data keywords tested off from the external source and also it used the page object model it is following the proper framework as you can see right then there is a utils it has generated some uh, data generator gen i mean whatever we can use right we can add we can ask copilot to add more methods for now it has some random numbers random emails it's generating and in the helpers uh, as i asked it's have some uh, methods for formatting date wait for element text screenshots right and then in package.json 
dot env is missing okay and in config also something is missing so i'm gonna ask again okay i couldn't see dot env file installation or dot env file entry in package.json okay i'm asking the copilot again for help because some steps are missing okay so it is reading the file again okay it is helping me with the dot env dependency that's great Right. and also we saw like uh, config.js also is not updated oh now only it's creating .env file that's great okay now let's ask for i couldn't see any update in playwright.config.js Okay, let's ask let's see how it responds the framework is almost 80 percent ready you know it's doing the final modifications okay it's updating the play rate config to use environment variables and all the necessary configurations right this is happening i think one more step what is missing is uh, uh, the yaml file for uh, cacd let's see let me add that also while that is working okay so it added everything whatever is needed in the config file great now i couldn't see dot yml sorry what dot yml file for CICD integration okay it's working on that if that is done i think it's almost 95 percent good framework so it's create a github workflows directory and uh, for running the playwright test in CICD pipeline right it's creating the playwright.yaml that's awesome i think hopefully uh, everything is ready the framework is ready It's creating a sample environment file also. I think the work is done. Let's see the files. So before that it is giving me the commands also. Okay, I will keep it. And let's see the files. First dot env write. Okay, I have this dot env and awesome it has the base URL. So here I can modify it as colon double slash playwright.dev so we can give whatever urls we are looking for environment is prod right so other um, variables are there and to use in uh, cacd it has also given me the env example file and uh, what else there is a yaml file right it up okay playwright.yaml file is there so whatever is required for CACD integration, installing the dependency. This is super great. I didn't expect this. GitHub will give this much complete details. When I was creating the playwright test, I mean the playwright test framework for the first time, I was doing this like more than 10 days. That's a harsh truth. And the config, it has some errors. So I have to go to the terminal and uh, it showed me already you have to do this npm install then only that env file and all will it will happen fine so there is some error let's see that okay what is that oh it enabled the firefox upkit for multiple browsers Awesome import diet TNB. I will say if it's using copilot or modules, it is installed npm install dot env. Let's see the package.json. My god, it has enabled all the scripts also in package.json. 
unexpected uh, dot env is there so still we are getting some error so what we can do is let's close the folder once and open it again okay so file open folder is there anything recent open recent okay pw.test okay now the error is gone this is happened sometimes if there is some error but we know everything is correct just close the vs code and open it again then it will do now as you can see what we have written in our framework.md file right this is what you gave us input to pw pilot everything is done now as you can see the framework structure is there base object model is implemented it is taking the data from external source jsv uh, sorry json and uh, utilities are created environment setup is there reporting is done class browser testing configurations are enabled this is super cool the framework is created now we can utilize the framework or in a standard traditional way we can record the test and we can ask copilot to create whatever is needed it can do the job right now you have hope you have an understanding later it can create a framework i think it will be like less than eight minutes less than seven minutes apply rate test automation framework with proper skeleton is done this structure can be used for any big project ci cd integration also is there thank you play rate thank you github copilot for giving this awesome feature remember i have used the cloud sonic model you can use gpt 4.1 also or gemini whatever model you have license or you are comfortable with but it can do awesome things it can create framework it will make the automation tester life easy hope the session is useful thanks Oh, 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 oh,